guys welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video i know i know we're sitting we're doing sit down videos again i've missed this so much i'm so excited to be filming this video i'm so excited to be sitting here you guys don't know the excitement but i will try to calm down to film this video for you guys if you're seeing my face for the first time, what's up? My name is Abby. How are you doing? I'm doing fine. What about you? Let me know in the comment section down below. This video is going to be a sickle cell awareness. Nazo is a year on YouTube. If you don't know her, I'll leave her YouTube name right here. Nazo is a she DM me. She's like, Abby, can you talk about sickle cell on her channel? She also talked about sickle cell. She did a collab with Banta with NJ. So you guys should go and watch their videos. And know where I'm coming from and because if you don't know I'm a medical student I know a little bit more than a layman I'm not a doctor yet but you know from what we have been taught in school I can say one or two about sickle cell more than a layman person or just a straight person so if you want to hear what I have to say definitely keep on watching <music> Okay, welcome back um this sickle cell thing i like that nazo started the awareness and it's quite educative quite informative content to be honest so if you do have a channel you can decide to talk about it on your channel this video might help one or two people even though it's only one person i'll be so grateful to be honest so a lot of people hear sickle cell sickle cell sickle cell but you don't really know what sickle cell is I'm going to be talking in layman terms. I won't try to make it a little bit medical so that I don't bore you and you run away. But I'm going to be saying a little bit, you know, if anything, I mention medical stuff, I'll try and explain it. So I'm just going to type on Google and try to see what does sickle cell actually means. So on Google, it says a group of disorder that cause red blood cell to become misshaped and break down. With sickle cell, an inherited group of disorder red blood cell which i'll be referring to as rbc in this video c could in form into a secret shape this cell die early leaving shortage of healthy red blood cell and can block blood flow causing pain which is called the sickle cell crisis or it, we call it the vaso occlusive crisis okay a lot of people here you know what sickle cell is and what is the meaning of sickle cell what causes sickle cell sickle cell is actually a mutation in an amino acid of the red blood cell right the mutation goes from one amino acid to another it's not necessary for me to mention the amino acid because you might not know you don't know so let's just say it's a mutation of one amino acid to another so normally your normal red blood cell is supposed to be round be smooth be you know should be able to glide through all your blood vessel nice you know like when you go to a is it a water fountain or a you know when kids dive i'm trying to explain something you know when you take your kids to a playing ground and there's this thing that they go down they go smooth that's the way your red blood cell is supposed to go smooth through all your all your blood vessel everything in your body but people with sickle cell anemia their red blood cell is sickled instead of round it is not round it's sickled and it's not as smooth as a normal red blood cell so they tend to struggle and um, they trying to struggle to pass through a lot of blood vessel in your body and the function of red blood cell is to carry oxygen to every corner every inch inches every organ in your body so the normal red blood cell is supposed to carry you know the oxygen so with this sick code red blood cell they are not able to carry sufficient oxygen through your body and everything that's why if you notice sickle cell patients are always tired they don't get enough oxygen they don't get enough energy that's why they are always tired so that has high so what is actually this pain crisis or sickle cell crisis or vaso occlusive crisis is literally this red blood cell going through your blood vessel they get because they can't go smooth as i said from my analogy they 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 get stuck in one blood vessel. Let's say they get stuck in the blood vessel of the heart and the rest are coming. They can't move through. They cannot. They are trying to struggle, but they cannot go. They will start. Imagine the first one has clogged already. Two, three, four. You know, blood vessels, they start clogging up together. That's what we call the occlusion, which occlusive, vaso occlusive crisis, which the vaso is basically blood vessel. Why the occlusive is the occlusion? Because the red blood cells are joining, they cannot move together. So they cause pain in whatever 
whatever place that they you know they they precipitate they join together they cause a lot of pain that place doesn't get oxygen that place doesn't get a lot of nutrient that the body is meant to get and imagine if it's in the heart that could lead to myocardial infarction or heart attack as a lot of people know imagine if it's in the brain it can lead to stroke let me kind of explain that anemia itself is a decrease in rbc which stands for red blood cell so decrease in rbc means decrease in oxygen that is carrying through the body the main function or why we have the rbc in the body is to carry oxygen to every part of our body as i mentioned earlier on so if we don't have enough RBC to carry oxygen to the body due to the sickled red blood cell that is already deficient, that is already mutated. So that's what causes the anemia. So sickle cell anemia, anemia caused by sickled RBC, caused by decreased RBC in the body. I hope I was able to explain it further. So it might, why do you think these warriors, they have chest pain? They will have chest pain, same reason the red blood cell gets sickled there, they precipitate, they join together. Vasoocclusive crisis actually called acute chest syndrome. That's what we call it, acute chest syndrome. It causes them chest pain. Imagine there's the occlusion in the lung the lungs is where the you know the red blood cell pick up oxygen and go to the body so they're not they're not able to get even the lungs themselves they need oxygen the, the lungs are not able to get oxygen the RBC are not able to get oxygen that's another complication another complication is also in the liver as I said there's an organ in the body called the spleen that breaks it the spleen the spleen is kind of a blood filter it filters all our blood to make sure it get rid of any particles anything that we don't need in the blood shower, the spleen get rid of it so this sickled rbc the spleen get rid of it. So, oh this one it's not a correct rbc it's not the smooth one it's not the one that's supposed to glide inside our blood vessel it get rid of it so continuous breakdown of this rbc produces bi and bilirubin and there's a whole process of the um, destruction of rbc is a whole process i'm not going to explain in this video because you might not understand but just know that the bi is meant to be stored in the liver continuous breaking down you know the bi will be to be accumulated in the liver at some point they're going to spill into the blood you agree with me right when something is meant to be stored inside this inside this cup let's use Let's use my phone as an example as a cup. When something is meant to be stored inside and it's getting full and full and full, at some point it's going to spill out and, and spill on the floor. The same way your spleen is breaking down the RBC, it's going to spill out into the blood. That's why they get the yellow eyes. So this this RBC can also get sickled or the, sorry, this RBC can also get occlusive or they can also accumulate in Every just know that every little blood vessel in your body, it can be the hand that will have hand pain, it can be the joint that will have joint pain. And the thing about this, um, what's it called? This thing that uh, this awareness that Nazo Eze is creating is is love actually greater than genotype? Will you consider your love than consider the future of your kids, the kids you are bringing to this world? Yes, they taught us in secondary school. Oh, if you draw AS, AS, your first child will be AA, second child AS. First, third child AS, yes, then last child I said, What of it? It's not always like that. It's not always how you draw it. All your kids might have those genotypes, but it's not always like that. You might end up having an excess patient, a, a, an excess warrior. I'm sorry if I keep using patient, I mean warrior. You might end up having an excess warrior as the first child. How do you know? They do, t they do test for it when the baby is, you know, stay in the womb via aminosynthesis but what of if your child have it said will you say because of that you want to you want to um, abort the child no i don't think any mother would like to do that so we need to create awareness once you're entering a serious relationship with your partner with your husband to be please check your genotype check your genotype it's very important because you're saving the future of your unborn child let's not even talk about the money that you have to spend if you're living in like third world country where 
you know to manage sickle cell warrior it's a lot of money you have to spend a lot of money a lot of your time and even the love that you are fighting for it to be drifting apart because it will take an emotional toll on you and your partner yes i'm right it will take an emotional toll on you guys so let us be aware and i'm glad that when you want to do like court registration or church wedding nowadays they, they give you a list of tests for you to do they can before they can actually marry you guys so i'm quite glad that that's one of the things that people are using to create awareness you guys let us be informed let us be conscious of who we who we date and there are a lot of things that are affected this sickle cell warrior they can't go to the beach they because one of their trigger is cold one of the trigger is exercise when they are when they are um they are not getting enough oxygen they're not getting enough energy so they can't really the little ones that they have they have to manage it they have to reserve it for the organs in their body if a lot of you know fairy by where she's not a typical warrior let's say like phenotypically what you can see because most warrior are slim what's most warrior eyes are yellow but far is by is it's not slim you know she's a she has weight she's a very good looking woman and her eyes is not that yellow but if you look very close you can see that she has like a tint of that yellow eyes. when she came out to say she was a warrior a lot of people were surprised because she doesn't look it and she kind of broke down how she she spent a lot of money sometimes for her to even get a bed in the hospital Hospital, they will spend up to like 500,000 sometimes millions those money that they even spend in the hospital she would have used it to build a house by now trust me she would have used it to build a house so please consider the future of your kids before you make any drastic decision and I watched banter with NJ video and she kind of made an analogy of a friend that was with her boyfriend for 10 years and when they wanted to get married they found out that they were both assets they were both AS and AS is a carrier is she he or she has like one mutation for you to be considered to be a warrior a sickle cell anemic patient right you need two mutated genes that's how you see SS one AS is a carrier they only have one mutated gene they don't they don't really have a lot of symptoms compared to you know an SS patient but they don't really get a lot of crisis but SS especially like a, a flu a full-blown warrior gets you know vessel occlusive crisis or pain crisis as every one of you know so yeah let's talk about uncertainty of oh will I die someday this this I don't know if you guys remember the OPP on air presenter OPH sorry on air presenter Tosin Buckner she was a warrior and I'm glad that she she talked about being a warrior while she was still alive may I still continue to rest in peace nobody knew the cause of her death but it might have been related to being a sickle cell patient you know imagine you're somewhere you can't get help and you get the the sickle cell in your heart you have heart attack nobody to attend to you medically you die like you you die or let's say in the brain you get stroke you get part of your brain that is damaged and you can you can reverse the damage in the brain you can reverse it once it's damaged it's damaged and i also have a friend that both patients are as as but they don't have any ss everybody's case is not like that don't be saying oh maybe i'll be lucky what of if you're not lucky please also consider that what of if you're not lucky let's be informed don't take the risk consider your child i have a friend that is a warrior i'll leave her handle right here you guys can check out on instagram she talks about her experience as a warrior every sunday she makes a video i don't know if she still do but if she does i'll leave her handle right here you can go and check it if you're also a warrior i pray god almighty we keep you yeah this thing needs to be told and let me just address that everybody should be very careful when you see somebody that you can tell your god can tell you that this person is a warrior be careful of what you say to them and don't ask them oh why are you always tired why are you always sick they don't choose to be sick they don't choose to be always tired it's just what comes with what they have so let's be guided let's be careful of everything we say to to warriors, it's not everything in my language, which is your will be like Kinshe Bobo Kotoju Bari Lenoa. So it's not everything you see you open your mouth to say. So please let's be guided. And another thing I want to say is see, imagine a three year old having pain crisis. Me, that ordinary, my son Ryan, when it's winter time, if you get cold or if you get that's why I don't take him out during winter in case I don't want him to catch cold and he will be sick, he will be sneezing. I can't take the pain. 
talk more of a three-year-old a one-year-old getting crisis you to think about it it will be so heartbreaking like so so heartbreaking so please let's be guided let the genotype rule over the love no love over the genotype I, I hope I'm able to cover everything I say if I'm going everywhere this video this video was very impromptu and I saw it DM me as I said early this morning so I'm I hope I'm able to cover all the points I'll leave a link to Nazo and banter with NJ's video down in the comment section below you guys to check them out and I'm actually so inspired to start like an awareness thing like a health thing on my channel if you think you'll be interested you'd like to listen to me talk about some health issues and here and there just my opinion you know just let me know in the comment section please thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed this video give me a thumbs up comment down below and subscribe to my channel I'll see you guys in my next video please stay safe and god bless bye